back to my channel. So as always, I'm so excited for today's video, especially because I have been holding on to my Ipsy bag, what seems like forever, because in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Ipsy versus Sephora play. So I have not dug into either one and I have absolutely been dying to. So before we get started, if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that big red button. I normally post videos every Monday and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'll have those all linked down below for you guys. All right, so since Ipsy was my first to arrive, I'm gonna go ahead and start with that. So this is the bag of September. I think it's very cute. It reads beauty to me because it has, you know, the little eyelashes. So I love this. The tab is just simple. It's kind of like this gold tab. It says Ipsy on it. Um, but a very, very cute bag. All right, so we open this up and let's see the first thing. Let's grab the card. Um, the card says, the question isn't who isn't going to let me. It is who is going to stop me. I like that. <laughs> All right, so the first product we're gonna get out of the bag, what is this? Ooh, okay, this is No Problem Primer um, from Touch and Soul. This is smooth and pore covering. So that's a nice little size. Um, I've actually, I've heard of this before. Let me see what kind of ratings it gets. All right, so the full size runs for $18 and it gets four out of five stars on the Ulta website. So that's exciting. Um, let's see what it does for the back of my hand. Come on out, where are you? Look, look how much I've squeezed and nothing has came out yet. That's, <sighs> I don't know if I like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, I wasted a whole bunch. Okay, um, so obviously this is not full. Look at this. You see how much I had to squeeze out that to get that much. That is crazy. All right, so rubbing it along. I definitely, it blurred on my hands. I don't know if you can tell or not. But uh, I cannot wait to try that out. I love a good blurring primer. My favorite is by Benefit. So um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to test that out and see how that works. I just wish that this was completely full. That is kind of disheartening, but you know. Um, all right, next item in the bag. Oh yeah, <laughs> mama gets a new brush. Um, so this is from Luxie. Uh, oh, 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 okay. And this is also with DC Comics. So this is a collaboration. So this is the Harley Quinn Flat Definer Brush. Ah, oh, that is so cool. Who doesn't love Harley Quinn? Um, it's very, very soft. I really like that. It's got a, like a flat tip to it. Um, and I love the little desi designs on the front. It says good night. So, uh, super excited for that. Brushes just make my day when I get a brush in the Ipsy bag. All right, going back in, what is this? Ooh, okay. Uh, this is Insanely Intense Tattooed Mini Waterproof Eyeliner from Scone. This is in the color Jet Black, of course. <laughs> and it does say it is cruelty free. All right, so this is what it looks like right here. Let's see. This is the tip, just the felt tip liner. And, oh, nice, okay. That went on very, very nice. It doesn't like it's doing any bleeding, very deep black, so super excited for that and it's a nice size so that one's that one's good all right going back in we have doo -doo -doo, what is this oh oops sorry <laughs> all right this is the noya simple and awesome organic peppermint lip balm okay or <laughs> organic that's always good all right let's see if this smells like peppermint Ooh, it does. I don't wanna put this on because I have my lipstick on, but I can't wait to try this. I am a lip balm junkie. I love a good lip balm. So this is awesome. This is going straight into my purse. All right, 
we have last item is creme du, du nil i have no idea what this is so you know what let's go ahead and read up on this all right so oh <laughs> it's a moisturizing cream will leave your skin dewy plumped up and gorgeous okay let's see what it smells like i want to see what it looks like too all right so i really don't detect a smell it's kind of put just a oh, ooh, what is with me oh my gosh i did not mean to pour that much out um still no real smell let's see what that feels like doesn't feel greasy okay now it's detecting a little smell I'm not really sure I like it either yeah maybe it'll go away we'll leave that on for just a minute see if that goes away but um I don't know why I'm showing you kind of this feels really really lotiony that's all it is like you just put a whole bunch of lotion on that's all it feels like so okay not bad not bad let's go ahead and do our Sephora play and then we'll compare the two okay i am not a fan of that smell so that bleh, yeah that's gonna be a no-go i'm not gonna put that on my face but i do want to point out look it is not smearing at all that eyeliner that is not smearing and i'm rubbing pretty freaking hard so all right, let's move on to Sephora Play. So this is a new bag. They've never really had a plastic bag before, at least that I have received. Um, looks like a little Ziploc bag. Um, the front's cute. On the back, I think it's cute. It says, opens bag, pours out samples, hi-fi self. <laughs> I like that. All right, so we are going to pop this open and the first thing i get is oh yeah okay this is olay henriksen uh truth serum now i have gotten this stuff before at a sample um for something else i can't remember what i think it was probably like one of the skincare get one of the skincare kits that i had bought and i really enjoy this serum so Ah, come on. There we go. All right. So, ooh, look at the bottle. That is a really nice little sample size. Oh, I'm so happy to have that. Okay. Starting off good, Sephora. Let's see if we can keep the momentum going. All right. The next item. Da, da, da. Oh, it's the perfume sample. Tom Ford, Black Orchid. Eh, not really into it. <laughs> I've had that one before. Um, all right, back into the bag. What is this? This is Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. And I think that is a good sample as well. All right, so see if I can pour just a little bit on my hand. Ooh, very, very liquidy. I don't know if you can tell, but well, it is a jelly. No smell. I like that. <laughs> Unlike that other one. Um, oh, it dries really fast. Okay. All right. Yeah. I think I'm going to like that. All right. Moving on. What is this? What is this? What is this? Okay. Oh, from Marc Jacobs. Okay. So this is the Marc Jacobs Shameless um, Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation. I don't think I've ever tried a Marc Jacobs foundation, so I'm super excited to get this. Um, this is in the shade Light Y210. Um, so hopefully, it'll be my color. Very, very little size, but it is an extremely extensive brand. So, I definitely don't want to put a whole bunch out. All right. Just a little dab. <laughs> Just a little dab to test and see if it's my shade. Oh, that might work. Can you tell? Can you tell where it's at? It's right here. That's actually bl blending in quite nicely. 
So let's go back into the bag. Um, feels like we only have one item left. If you can, no, I'm sorry, we have two items left. If you can hear anything over that crinkling of the bag. Um, so this is the Sephora Lash Craft Big Volume Mascara. I have not received this in a sample, so I'm super excited to try this. I've actually heard pretty good things about this. Let's see how big this sample is. Okay, well, it's a decent size. Definitely a decent size. So it says Lash Craft on the front and Sephora on the back. Let's see what the wand looks like. I like the purple. Ooh, I like the wand. All right, so there is your applicator right there. So I will say <laughs> happy about that. <laughs> I'm happy about everything almost. All right, and going into the bag without making a whole bunch of noise, you can hear me. Uh, okay, the last item is Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I do feel that I have gotten this before. Um, it's a nice moisturizing primer, but I need more of a blur effect. So I'll probably just stick this in a giveaway. Um, but it's a decent little sample size. All right, so let's go ahead and do a quick recap. Okay, so for Ipsy, we got the lip balm, which I love. The liner, which did not smudge whatsoever. It did not bleed. It is a solid black color. Love that. The brush, always super excited to get a brush. This one is from Luxie. It's like the Harley Quinn edition. So that just... So excited for this. Um, now, the no pro, the no problem, problem <laughs> primer. Um, I'm really excited to try. It seemed like it blurred my hand pretty nicely. However, as you can see, um, I squeezed it and squeezed it and squeezed it just to get a little bit to come out. So I would have liked it to be more fulls. I think that was a little bit deceiving. And then this moisturizer right here is a good sample size. Did not like the smell, so I will not be using this. But all in all, I still think this is a nice bag. All right, so moving on to Sephora Play, we got the Clinique Hydrating Jelly, which is a nice sample, felt really nice. Uh, it dried pretty quickly. We got the Truth Serum, which I love, and it is a very decent size sample. We got the Marc Jacobs um, Shameless Foundation, which I have not tried before, and it seemed like it is to going to be a pretty decent shade match so I'm super excited for that um, we got the lash craft mascara which is a decent size I love the wand um, and I've heard really good things about that so that is a plus of course we got the perfume sample which is something they have actually sent before I would have liked a different sample but I mean the sample is just extra and then I got the Too Faced Replenishing Primer, which is a really nice primer. I think it's a decent size sample, um, but it's just not something that I would gravitate towards. Like I said, I'm more of a blurring effect primer kind of gal, um, but I think this is a really, really good bag. Really, really good bag. Oh man, you know, I like both bags, but if I had to choose, if I had to choose, I think the winner for September would definitely be Sephora Play. Um, and the reason for that being is because these two items in the, these two items from Ipsy just were kind of a letdown. This one being so empty and this one kind of stinky. <laughs> and I definitely had um, some better choices in the Sephora Play. Bottom line is I still enjoyed both bags. I still will continue both subscriptions and I cannot wait for the month of October. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.